Welcome back to Let's Play. I was about to say Mega Man X. I have no idea why. Mega Man 6. Probably because Mr. X. Yeah, probably. Uh, Mega Man 6. Unfortunately, in that one, the mysterious person would be Mr. E. Mm. But then that would just be too obvious of a pun. And I don't know if Scooby-Doo would get mad at you for it. Okay, so with Flame Man down, we can um, apparently use Flame on something. What's Flame good on? Uh, Canada Knights. Man. Knights? Canada Man! I can't believe that was an actual chosen. <laughs> the Master of Snow! They're all like masters of their elements. On one hand, I kind of like that they give all that neat information yeah, about like... all of them as you enter. But there's also something I like about... Just like that black bar in the middle of the screen, and then like the stars flying in the distance, and going, Yeah, it's this guy! So I don't know. I could go either way. Oh, also I get the ice level. Oh, so you do. Isn't that weird? So fire breaks those things. And you can get a one-up. And then I die. Yay. <laughs> Good thing you got that one-up. I know, right? Don't even have to speed up, we're already here. And we're back! Welcome back, everybody. Um, those little eyeball guys. Uh, like the tiny little things. You can't hurt them when their shell is closed. That's with most enemies that have shells like that. So you have, to, you have to wait for it to open. And then once it opens, they move towards you. Like they're little cameras, too. So it's like they open and then look away. Yeah, there's ice here. The ice physics caught me off guard, because I don't think there's ice physics on the snow. No, there isn't. I'm just trying to think which way I want to go. I think I want to go down this way. I really don't need that. These guys aren't much of a bother either. So I want to hang to the edge Left. here. <laughs> Ow. You jerk. Ow. You jerk. And now I show off this new power adapter that we got. Yeah, the Rush power adapter. It's In this we got game, that they time. rework Rush, and instead of just being your little jet or whatever thing, he turns into a suit of armor for Mega Man. Yeah! Punchin! Power, Power Mega, Mega Man. Man. And now I can punch. And get a 1-up. You know, it plays that little animation every single time. Oh, you can press start to skip it. You can press a button to skip it. You can press, like, jump or shoot to skip it as well. Yeah. But it never seems to skip consistently. Oh, also, wow, like these, I went. Yeah, these enemies are called curling because of Canada. I mean, look at them. That's what they're doing. Yeah. Obviously, Canadians love it. My favorite part about the punch? It can break through shielded enemies. That means you can walk up to Mets and go... Friggin' Mets! As you can see as I punch that shield attacker right in the face. Can't punch this ice wall, though. Nope, sadly not. That's nice. I guess. I can kind of see why people like it. It looks awkward to use, but powerful. Yeah. But not, not like, glitchy awkward to use. More like, strategically awkward to use. I wanted to see if there's another curler coming up. Or I guess there's a thing or two. Ow. Stop it. No, you'd be seeing these uh, cracked blocks throughout everything throughout the game, and that's what the power fist is for. Breaking. Breaking blocks. Should have used that for fire. Oh, this guy! Eat wind! So this guy is, like, the worst mini-boss? Oh. He just went. Yeah, if you use the windstorm on stuff, it'll pick them up and just go... He's just... That... That was hilarious. <laughs> just this giant friggin' squid going... No. I'm just... I'm leaving. I guess I'm dead now. Submarines! I don't know if this water will kill you if you just touch it. I know the spikes in the water will kill you. Yeah, I'd be willing to bet the water wouldn't. But you also see the platforms here and there. Like in the ice. I'm willing to bet you could stand on that. Yeah. But um, I'd be, I would be very cautious about the spikes. Pounch. 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 Ow. Quick pounch. And then, like, here you have to be careful, because... Ow. What the hell?! 
and I think it was his last day on the job. He's gonna retire after that and go see his Sniper Joe family. Poor guy. Yeah, too bad he got in the way of Mega Man. Up, up, yeah. Well, he just really should... He really didn't need to tell everybody that it was his final day. Show everybody off this fatal family picture. This is my family. This is Sniper Joe Jr. He's gonna grow up to be a Sniper Joe just like me. And you kill him in Mega Man 7. <laughs> If it's anything, we have to make it tragic. <laughs> I like doing with that with mooks and games, is just making them have like a... Just a backstory that makes them just so human. And then you just come along just... And then we see who the true monster is. It's Ifrit. It's always Ifrit. Yeah. Bye! Later! I don't know, I get depressed and I start feeling like absolute garbage if that happens. I try to dehumanize mooks as much as possible. Like, I don't even want to think about it. Well, there's always one bad mook in here. <laughs> that other Sniper Joe was actually banging that Sniper Joe's wife, so you can automatically tell he was just an asshole. <laughs> anyway, Blizzard Man, from the great old land of Canada. Canada Land. I'm starting to see a stereotype amongst these characters. So, uh, Blizzard Man's also not that bad. Um, he'll shoot him with fire. He also rolls at you. And uses a blizzard attack. I wonder which one we'll get. So if you stand a little bit close to him when he shoots out the ice thing, you can just kind of move backwards and dodge it, and that's pretty easy. That was it. And he has a, and he has a good enough, an easy enough tell for when he's going to roll at you. And that's pretty much the fight. He can, like, kind of scoot just a little bit towards you, and that throws me the crap off. But he, like, almost never does it. Put you. Uh. B attack. Batak. Actually, sounds like an alien name. Like a proper alien name that isn't, like, Ziggity Wagum, the Zibble level. Okay, so control goes back to me at that point while we take on our next. Devil Trojan. Um, got the blizzard attack off that last guy, kind of like a shotgun thing you saw there. As a note, it does spawn like four sprites and is kind of laggy. The, the NES would have sprite limitations. Yeah, what can you do? Um, so who am I beating up next? Your favorite boss. Everyone's favorite boss. Plant Man. Heck yeah, Plant Man. Oh, heck yeah, Plant Man. I hate this stage. Yeah, you're right. Plant Man's stage is horrid. Honestly, when I get the Plant Man, I th that's the point where I kind of look at Meg Man and go like, all right, you're really reaching for your robot masters here. Like, I think design-wise, it's all right. I mean, it's got these neat looking guys. It's got this guy hiding in the grass. Apparently, the fun fact is that Plant Man is from Brazil. That's his origin. Yet, yeah, you probably want that life. Yet, the plant that he's modeled after is one that only shows up in Southeast Asia hmm. areas. So... Wah, wah. Says the sad trombone. I'm gonna reset him. Yeah, I love you. I'm gonna get up there and I'm gonna shoot you with flames. Crap! I was gonna say- I can't slide on a ladder! Yeah, you can't slide on ladders. What do you think this is? Slides on ladders? That's just stupid. What the crap? Oh, yeah, it'll, it'll just like stomp your ass too, so... You Open up. You don't Say, care. uh... You don't care, he's the sixth in that stupid model line of like robots that are just there to stomp you at the beginning of end of levels. <laughs> Whatever, everybody just remembers those big eye ones from Mega Man 1. Nobody cares about me. Hey, Eddie's back! Hey! Got, oh, that's a life we needed. Oh, it's a mini-boss. This guy weak to anything? Can I hit him with anything good? Uh, I know you can shoot his hand and make him go backwards. Oh, you can. Or just like uh, uh. I'm bad at this! I really don't know if he's weak to anything. I, 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 I never, outside of like the beginning game, Mega Man games... That fist is like in the worst position to hit you when it doesn't look like it's going to hit you. Yeah, I, I was never really like... 
I think the thing that's fun with Mega Man now is that I can look at it and go like, oh, there's a lot of utility you can do for these games. But when I was a kid, I just went like, I'm yeah. just gonna use the Mega Buster and everything and wait until I get to the Robot Masters and beat them up with their weapons. I should probably refill something. Actually, we don't need to refill anything. We need to refill life. We need to get a life man. Life man! <laughs> just throws one up at you. These springs, I hated them ever since I was a kid, and I still hate them. What the crap? You saw those bullets go right through him, right? Yeah. Those springs, the way they work is, like, ass backwards. You have windstorm, you just throw them at him. Well, yeah, but he's, like, right in front of me. The, the way okay, I don't actually need weapon energy. No, you don't. The way the springs work is that you actually have to hold the jump button to rise up. Yeah. Can I hit you with anything? Uh, not really. I don't really know if anything of those work. Eh, yeah, rude. Uh, apparently you cannot be near the background or else okay. the thing doesn't work properly. And then I die to this boss. This mini boss. Look, you weren't supposed to shoot that. You are supposed to use your fist like you've been doing. Uh, uh, uh. Get away from me! Get away from me! Oh, I killed him with one little thing. Thank God, Plant Man will be easier. The mini bosses in this game give me so much trouble. I don't even know why. Maybe Ajla. And now this is where this whole level gets really jerkish. No. Because you see, like, no, even at your lowest jump, you're still going to get hit by that. Okay, so now the problem is going to be killing your sorry butt. And not getting chomped by the fish. And there's these guys. Which, like, you can take the upper path here, but I don't really see why you would. Because it doesn't get you anywhere. Really? There's no fish here? <laughs> it's not tenth fate here. Because, like, you have to jump down here anyway. And then you're jumping down, like, on top of this guy. Yeah, I like how the I like how there's energy pellets in the little the flowers. Yeah. yeah. I never really shouldn't be quiet during this part, but I hate this part with passion. So. Yeah, I'm. I kinda... I'm trying very hard. I really want you to concentrate and not get screwed over. Friggin' bouncy on a... There, I got you. Don't care. Because I know there's gonna be a fish right here. Yep, there we go. Uh, oh, I made it! Okay, that's like the worst level in the entire game, so... You're there's just so many, like, gotcha moments right in that last area. I always hated that. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Blizzard? Blizzard attack. Okay, so Blizzard attack against this guy is weird because... At least for me it's weird, because... I think it's because you launch it while he has his, pet, his plant barrier out, and that really exceeds the maximum spike. Yeah. It's, I, and, and that just makes the game lag, and I've got kind of a timing for when to jump over him, and the lag thro throws off my timing. So, whatever, let's find out. Got an MP tank. Yeah. I get plenty more. Not to worry about it. Because it's that he has a barrier, he lands, and he shoots it at you, and then I hit him. He, and then he throw me off. I don't think you have to hit him with, like, one of the blizzards, so... I think once... It's like... And, like, sometimes he... Okay, it doesn't even go through, so... No, it doesn't. Well, it's a barrier weapon. Yay! And, like, he's really easy with the blizzard weapon, though. But, like, the lag just completely throws off my pattern. 
That's because you've just been bustering only everything. I did practice all of these buster only. Just because I, just mostly because I felt like I would get a better handle for their patterns if I didn't just destroy them. And you found out their patterns also kind of compensate for screen lag. <laughs> oh, now we got the rush oh, man. after. I wonder what this will do. We'll just have to find out next time. Yeah, I'm sure it won't do anything. When we bad. take on the last four robot Trojan devil masters. That's the thing, right? Yes. Okay. Kenny Kuma! 